Good morning folks, welcome back to another episode of Third Day Angling. Today we took a trip down south. We're in Tucson and I'm at Silver Bell uh, Park. So wasn't really sure what to throw today. So I just brought a Ned rig and just a small float setup. Um I'm throwing a, a small J hook with a split shot and a, a small trout magnet float and i got a nico caddis fly on there i just caught a crappie i wasn't videotaping so caught them pretty shallow so i'm gonna take it that they're pretty they're pretty shallow right now so looking for anything that's gonna bite yeah i caught a pretty good sized crappie too bad i didn't have my video going but that's okay if I got one I'm sure there's more so yeah that's all I'm doing right now I think I'm there's a lot of weeds in here so Ned rig I don't think is gonna be a go today so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be throwing this float rig around and see if I can get on another bite here Every now and then I see that bobber do a little something. There we go. What do we got here? That's a really small bass. On that Nico. We got them hooked pretty. <laughs> Little old guy, look at that. Small little guy. You just never know. This isn't a good rig to fish in weeds and grass and stuff, but All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and pack it up for now. I'm going to head off and get some lunch, and we'll, we'll either see you at Kennedy or at Lakeside. Not sure yet, but I'm going to grab a bite, and I'll see you guys in. All right, folks, we had some lunch. We are at Kennedy Park now, throwing the trout. Uh, not the trout magnet, I'm sorry, the Nico... 
mayfly looks like there's a bunch of weeds on the bottom there so I do see a little baby bass there I'm gonna see if we can get anything I don't want to throw the split shot rig now that I've seen all this grass or weeds on the bottom vegetation I may shorten, have to shorten that leader because it doesn't look too deep over there. <laughs> that little bass took it. He went for it. He sure did. Okay. I shortened the leader to about a foot. So we're going to see what we can do here. It looks pretty shallow, so there's one small bass there. That's the guy. There we go, already. Looks like a small bass. Yep, it was. Real small bass. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at that little guy. They're just all over the place. Okay, another little small bass. I told you there's a bunch of them all over the place. Let's get it back out there. But I haven't seen nothing bigger than maybe half a pound. They're not big by any means. There's a bigger bass right where I was at. Look at that little guy. Are you kidding me? This is what I'm talking about. Want to talk about a giant? kinds of small bass little little guys As a matter of fact there's one right here watch she's gonna pick it up there it is trophy bass <laughs> they're hungry talk about durability on these Nico caddis fly a lot of their Nico baits are just really durable catching a lot of baby bass on these
here to pull this up. Okay, I'm out of the weeds. Oh, there was something. There was a a wake, and that's what it was. Another little one. All right, folks. So that we're gonna go ahead and call it a day from Tucson. Stop that silver bell. Caught one bass and one crappie that I get on video. And then we came out to Kennedy for a little bit. Caught a bunch of dinks, nothing big, but yeah, it was fun on an ultralight rod. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel. We'll be making a lot more videos. We'll be making a few more trips down here to Tucson. Check the rest of the ponds out. So, till next time, tight lines. And God bless.